talk to somebody or talk to somebody how to deal with his stress or ups and downs, right? When we got into the bra and uh, when we got into the, I got into the show, they tried to make me talk to somebody. Now, the lady was cool. The lady was super cool. But I didn't talk to her about my problems. I damn sure didn't confide in her and say nothing about what I had going on. Nothing. Man, ain't nothing wrong with you, bro. You made a bad decision. You fucked up. Deal with it. But you don't need to talk to nobody, bro. Because whoever you talk to ain't going to relate to what you got going on. They just somebody that's sitting there that's going to give you an opinion about what they think you did. They ain't got no experience. You ain't, ain't nothing wrong with you, Ja. Just get back to playing basketball, dog. Fuck everybody. Yeah, call me Cameo 5. I'm getting ready for my Cameo. Go ahead, Jordan. All right. Yeah, man. I saw um, John Moran returning uh, last night. You know, you know, he, he turned on the bench. You know, you know, and also I saw he talked to the media. Um, you know, you know, this putting it out of the press and uh, like you know, he's not gonna be an IG. You know, getting you know, getting his counseling in and everything. You know, and I hope you know John do well. I hope he gets you know, you know, he he got the counseling that he needs. You know, because you know, John, man, you are a talented player, yo. You know, you, you are the type of person you can win the MVP. Um, you have a great team around you. You know, the fans, you know, your, your teammates, the coach, you know, they love you, yo. You have you have a, a gift. You have a talent. You know, you can go down as one of the one of the uh, top guards who, who uh, play in this game. Uh, but, yeah, John, you know, hopefully, you know, we'll see him in the court soon. You know, you're you going know, get to uh, get initiated, you know, get into the playoffs. You know, just be, just be the best player you can be. You know, because like I said, John, you know, with you on you on that team and but the Memphis Grizzlies, like I said, you know, the sky is the limit. You know, in the Western Conference, you know, anybody can take it. You know, you don't know. I don't know how things is doing. What the Lakers are doing. Lakers might not be major playoffs. You know, the different numbers. You know, everybody has a question mark. But John, make sure you have your your, your mind straight. You know, and get that get the bag and get the money. Because you can, with your talent, you can make, you can make, um, you can be a billionaire before uh, LeBron um, can be a with, with your age. Mm -hmm. So, John, please, um, please stay, um, stay mindset, mindset ready. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. Because, like I said, you have a great talent, yo. Do not mess this up. Please don't mess this up. That's my take. See, that's why I was saying, uh, I don't know if y'all heard, but John Moran was also suspended for another eight games. So I think, Jordan, you kind of mentioned it, the simple fact that um, he is a great player, but now he, he's suspended for another eight games, which means I think the NBA is going to find another reason to suspend him some more. See, this is why it's very important of who you got to know who you surround your life with. If you hang with a bad crowd, you got you to eat with the you gotta eat with the bad crowd. So that means you might end up losing everything. See now, remember we talked about it last week in the simple fact how he lost his Gatorade on uh, um, Coca Cola deal, but I re I really believe he's gonna get it back. But just for the time being, now he's not able to eat because he lost that deal for the time being. And now you have somebody that is talking to him like a mentor and say, "Hey, I've been there, I have done that. Don't try to go that direction because you might end up losing it all by the simple fact of your ignorance." But shout out to Job because Job say he's going to therapy. He's in therapy now to deal with his situation he's dealing with. But to me, I still don't understand the simple fact of he didn't really have a bad life like other people do. So me, I really want to know, like, at the end of the day, when he's done with his therapy, I really want to know his take on it. Because in my mind, like, you grow up with two parents home, you was just listening to bad music and hanging with a bad crowd. So I just want to know his take on it at the end of the day. Because I know people, even though people have been raised in a two-parent home, they can still have personal issues. So that's just my take on it thus far. Brothers, um, I always talk about this survival's guilt and wanting to be accepted. And that's why I see from him. Um, due to the fact that he didn't grow up like that, he wants to be accepted by the crowd that is the majority. The nigga shit is the majority. The dysfunctional shit is the majority. Functioning black people are at least 10%. People who want to do the right thing and stay out the way, 10%. Majority of that nigga shit is... 99%. But the point, another thing too, 
I don't like the way the basketball is doing it. Now they're getting they're heading into the realm of emasculation. You know what I mean? You suspend them a couple games is cool. That should teach him his lesson. Suspend him some more games, take the deal. Okay, he learned his lesson now. Don't bankrupt the man. You feel me? Everybody need the chance to have remorse and redeem themselves. Right now, they're trying to put you into full submission. Rich Slate. That's my take. Before you go, Ronnie, you made a great part, Hakeem, because we were talking about this with Kyrie Irving. With you know, with what he did, we talked about. We, we talked about. We did a couple uh, episodes with that. They did the exact same thing with Kyrie Irving. And hopefully, John Moran will learn for what you know with the emasculation. What they did with Kyrie Irving. That's my final thoughts on that. That's why it's very important to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell on the right hand side. Remember, we go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, six o'clock Eastern time. And guys, remember when you come over to Chaos, make sure you go in the community tab because in the community tab. We have the Chaos Culture Radio T-shirt and also Prince Hakeem's new book, Black Love. So come support the platform. Support Hakeem. He's a new author now. Support. You know what I'm saying? So with you guys' help, we can reach to the highest sky. Thank you for tuning in to Chaos Culture Radio. We over and out. Peace. 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 peace.